Good afternoon. My name is Baba Tando, and I have the latest in the world of sports. Let's talk some Black Stars um, issues. And Ghanaian international Rabi Mohammed has described as complicated his current injury status. The 26-year-old who terminated his contract with Russian side Andy Makachkala in February of this year due to long injury layoffs has also been overlooked uh, for national team duties. Rabiu Mohamed, the older of twin boys, rose to fame in 2009, being a member of the Black Satellite Squad that won the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Egypt after beating Brazil on penalties in an epic final. He started his professional career with Ghana Premier League side Liberty Professionals and was transferred to Europe at the age of 18 in 2008. He has played for clubs including Gymnastique, Erethe Day, Sampdoria, Udinese and Evian Tonon Gailard. He has spent a major part of the last four years in Russia, first signing for Kuban Krasnodar from 2013 to 2016 and then joined FC Anji Makachkala. Anterior cruciate ligament injuries had the better of the midfielder for a major part of 2016 and that resulted in him failing to make a single appearance for Andy competitively. The club therefore terminated his contract on mutual grounds. The free agent describes his current situation as complicated. For the national team is uh, our, our team and it's uh, all, uh, I'm a Ghanaian and if I think that I have uh, strength and everything and I have a team to play and everything, why not if they call me, uh, I'll come. Have you recovered and what's the future for Momo? Yeah, I, I hope uh, it's, uh, now it's complicated for me and it's very difficult for me now and I hope maybe some years back or maybe one year or something I'll come back. Rabi Mohammed has made 31 appearances for the senior national team, the Black Stars. Let's all talk about the Black Stars and their coach, Kusia Pia, made a resounding entry in his second spell with the team, following that emphatic 5-0 victory of his side over their Ethiopian counterpart in an AFCON 2019 qualifier last Sunday. Now, a lot of people, including some members of the Black Stars management committee, were against the FA's decision to reappoint him to that position. But former sports minister and member of parliament, for the Ododo Diodo constituency, Edwin Nilante van der Poy believes Quincia Pierre's reappointment couldn't have come at a better time. Quincia Pierre, before last Sunday's game against Ethiopia, had a remarkable record of victories and goals with the Black Stars. The weekend's game was his 29th competitive match, and the five goals added to the 63 already recorded by his team, meaning his team had scored 68 goals in all matches under his watch. This result gives the former Al Hatoum coach an average of 2.46 goals per match, certainly an incredible record to behold. His reappointment met a lot of stiff opposition, even from some members of the Ghana Football Association, but that did very little to deter Kwesinyantichi and the FA's technical handlers from giving Kwesiapia the nod to lead the Black Stars for a second time. A lot of Ghanaians, especially those within the football fraternity, are keeping faith with the coach. And former sports minister Nilante van der Poy believes Kwesia Pierre's reappointment couldn't have come at a better time. Kwesia Pierre's demeanor itself is good for football. Um, Kwesia Pierre is that cool person, but very effective and very sharp. You don't need to see him shouting, you know, he's not animated like the Georgian club, like Jose Mourinho of Conte and the rest. Um, he is that sort of person, like Alex Ferguson, like Coleman, uh, like Roy Hudson, you know, as a Vega, as a Vega, you know, they, they have their style. Sometimes people mistake those things to be weaknesses. No. Uh, you don't need to shout for people to know what you meant. And I, I think it's good for us because that, in that way, it gives the players some calm atmosphere. If sometimes when you shout at players, if you are in a match like when he has about four debut players, if he is that animated, it will affect the players. So I, in nature, and that is what I was looking for all this time when I was, I was canvassing for local coach, local coach, local coach. I hope that we will, Ghanaians will continue to support Kwesiapia. 
and I hope it will be success he will be successful. Christian Pierre will take charge of the team once again when they face Mexico in Houston, Texas on June 28th and the USA in Connecticut on July 1 in international friendlies. All right, so there's more on the sports page on myjoyonline.com. We're tweeting live on the handle joysportsgh. On Facebook, the address is joysports. Tweet at me personally at Baba Tando. That's your sport. Good afternoon.